Hey guys, Darlene here from Suits, Heels and Curves and I'm really excited because today I'm at the Gwenny B Studios trying on tons of clothes and having a lot of fun with fashion. And joining me is my favorite blogger pal, Sandra from La Pecosa Pre Preciosa. Hi guys! So guys, today we're here because you know, we love to talk about fashion. Obviously, we're fashion bloggers. So today we're getting to play in the Gwenny B closet, which is huge, right Sandra? That's humongous guys. It's like a girl's dream, okay? And we, what we've done is we've picked out different outfits for each other. One look that I know Sandra would love, and one look that she might not love because it's more my style than it is her style. And Sandra, what about me? Well, I picked something out for her that she would normally wear, and something that I know she's not going to like at all. So um, we'll see how it looks and if she's gonna like it, or maybe it might, might change her, who knows? So Sandra, I don't know if everyone out there knows how we met, mm -hmm. and um, I love telling the story, even though it makes me sound like a weird, kind of a little <laughs> stalker person. <laughs> but Sandra and I met online on Instagram. Um, I used to follow her before I became a blogger, and she was like, I, she had freckles, and she had this gorgeous red curly hair, and I was like, she could be like my sister from another lifetime. <laughs> And so I should secretly show up at events that she would be at. And, and never say hi, guys. Just never say hello. No, because at that point, I was super, super shy. And I saw her as like this huge fashion blogger. And yeah, no. So that's a little bit about how we met. I find Cassandra finally, you know, called me out on it one day. And since then, we've been besties. And we actually live together now. We share a house together. So, <laughs> yeah, be so it's literally the blogger house now. <laughs> yeah. So I think we know each other's fashion and, and each other's style really well yeah. at this point, right? I would, I would, I would hope so. Well, I guess we're going to find out because I'm first up to style Sandra. And Sandra, I'm going to go ahead and push you off set. Okay. I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> And for Sandra's look, I wanted to pick something that I felt was pretty classic to Sandra. And there's a lot of things that Sandra likes. If you check out her page, she has a super feminine style. She loves like super flared skirts, pretty dresses. She does really well with pattern mixing and she's always in a cute pump. So I had that in mind when I went shopping for her at the Gwenaby Closet. And the first thing that caught my attention was this great striped blazer. I knew that Sandra would love it. She loves pattern, she's not afraid of pattern. So I automatically picked that blazer because I knew she would love it. And then I had to find something else to pair with it. And there were so many options, it was really hard to narrow it down. But I picked something super classic that I thought Sandra would like, particularly because of one feature. The one thing that I thought in that dress that Sandra would love is that the dress had pockets. And Sandra, because she loves to wear dresses, she loves anything with pockets in it. Because of course, we're bloggers, we have our phones with us all the time, and we need somewhere to put it. So you can see, I don't have my phone here because I have nowhere to put it. So the dress turned out to be perfect. And aside from that, I added on some cute shoes. Oh my God, Sandra, you changed quick. <laughs> this was the fastest I've ever changed, guys. Like, this is like Speedy Gonzalez changing. Guys, and this is in real time. There is like no <laughs> smoke <laughs> mirrors here. No. So what I did with this dress, as I mentioned, I picked out this great uh, striped blazer for Sandra. And then I paired it with this satiny, silky uh, dress here that has pockets, as I mentioned. And then I paired it with the red pump because Sandra loves to go on date night on Fridays with her boyfriend. And so what she can do is just take off this blazer. Take and it she, off you guys. Whoop, and she can add a cute chunky necklace right down the center. And she has her red pumps, which are super hot and sexy. And she's ready to go dancing, dinner, drinks, movies with her bae. And you know, it's effortless, it's seamless, which is great. And now that I actually see this dress in person, I'm totally putting it in my Gwenny B closet like the minute I get off this Facebook Live because I need this dress in my life. It's gorgeous and I love it. And then with the striped blazer, it just takes it over the, over the edge. So I'm definitely getting this dress. So I, I got two, I two, two, she got two thumbs, thumbs up. She did very well. Yes, <laughs> she did very well. I'm so happy. <laughs> so um, I'm going to be styling her. No, she actually she's going to be picking out the outfit that I'm going to probably not like so much, so this is gonna be the fun part. <laughs> so what I did for Sandra's look, and for her uh, look that you know is kind of more outside of the box for Sandra, was something very unique. And I'm gonna again, I'm gonna push you off stage because you know I'll be back. <laughs> we're a Speedy Gonzalez changing room here. <laughs> and for that look, I picked something really different. So something Sandra does not wear very often is a very fitted look. 
And if you visit my blog, then you see I love a great, um, I'm not gonna call it bodycon, but a fillet silhouette. I love ruching, I love something that really accents your curves. And I think that it's a great option for any woman, whether it is workwear related or whether it is, you know, going out for drinks or having fun with dinner. So I picked something that was fitted for Sandra, which as I mentioned, is not up her liking. Another thing about Sandra is that Sandra is an apple shape, and because she's an apple shape, she tends to uh, steer away, far away, from fitted clothing. But with the ruching, I'm here to prove to her that the right combo works for her shape, and that she can wear something a little fitted as well. And in addition to that, the dress that I picked out for her also has a really kind of bold, small print. It has like some pinks and some whites in it, and you'll see in a short moment. And that's also super outside of Sandra's comfort zone. She really likes um, classic colors, nothing that's too bold, here I am. She's more kind of, uh, I call her like a Jackie O kind of look. And this is very much like uh, Rita Moreno, if you, <laughs> if you get my drift. So I love the dress. I thought it was like a cute pick. Um, I did grab a black blazer for Sandra because as I know that sometimes when you're not used to wi um, wearing something a little bit more form-fitted, um, you tend to feel a little bit not yourself and uncomfortable. Oh my God, I'm back. you're back. <laughs> so this is the dress that I picked out for her. And in a, few more, in a few moments, I'm gonna ask her to take off this blazer because I really want you to see how gorgeous this dress looks on her and on her shape. Wow, man. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on back there, guys. Guys, this is live. This is not tape <laughs> pre-recorded. This is live as can be. Yeah, and we are in New York, so you don't know what you're gonna hear on no. this Facebook live session. <laughs> so here it is. As I mentioned, um, I'm gonna Sandra. Why don't you take this off for a second? Oh, here stuck. we go. Oh, she's stuck. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. <laughs> so. What I loved about this dress, as I mentioned, it is form-fitting, but it loosens up a little bit through the leg. And then I also love that it has this wrapping, this ruching here. So as I mentioned, Sandra is an apple shape, and sometimes she prefers something that's fit and flare, so it can give her more of a waistline. But by adding this black jacket that has a little peplum on the hip, what it does is that it gives her that faux kind of hourglass shape, as you guys saw when she first tried it on. Um, because this dress has so much beautiful coloring to it, oh, I'm trying to get this little thing off you. Um, she doesn't really need much in terms of a necklace. One thing that we might do is add a like chunky bracelet or some nice rings to her hands. She's finishing off the look with classic black pumps, um, which I think are great. And in the winter, she could pair this with like a really sexy tall black boot as well. So. I mean, again, this is probably something that I normally wouldn't wear, but now that I have it on, and I see with the combination of the jacket and this, I maybe might be persuaded to wear it. I don't know, but it's something that I have to work on. But I do love it. This is a great dress for any occasion. Work, after work, date night. It's just a great dress. The great thing about this, as Sandra said, this is a dress you can wear anywhere. This You can wear this to wedding, you can wear this to work, you can wear this to dinner. It looks so classic. And what I love is Sandra with her black blazer, she looks like she's coming to do business. Like <laughs> She's coming to take over that CEO boardroom, which I absolutely <laughs> love because one of the biggest questions I get is the idea that, you know, what do I wear in the workwear? There's not a whole lot of options. Well, there really is a lot of options. You just have to figure out what works and what doesn't mm -hmm. work for your liking. And this is a great option. Yeah, I love this. So now it's Darlene's turn to um, put on her outfit, I guess. <laughs> so the first one is going to be her comfort zone one. So she should be OK with that. So while she goes, I'm going to throw my blazer back on so that my hands are free. And if you guys didn't know, Darlene's blog is mostly about career wear, and she helps people um, you know, who probably feel like in the career world there's not a lot of options, and she makes career wear very fun, and she's for the modern day career woman, which I love. So obviously I picked something that's going to be her you know, ideal outfit that represents her brand, and it's like a sheath dress with a blazer, which is totally like a corporate thing for her, and I think she's gonna look really great in it. Also with that, you know, again, she's great at like, you know, switching from day to night, and that dress that I picked for her is definitely gonna be great for that. So there's also pretty accessories here that we have to amp it up. And we'll see when she comes back. Hopefully you guys like what I picked. And also, if you haven't been to Darlene's page, you definitely should. She has a lot of things about travel, we have fashion, and she also has a lot of stuff for wellness. She has a 
separate website for I Am Redefining Healthy, which is a 360 view on health for the plus size woman. So you should definitely check that out. So how are we doing over there, Darlene? <laughs> well, Tony, what can go wrong will go wrong in situations like this. So, you know, while she's over there, um, if you guys haven't visited Gwenny B, you guys should go and check out, like, honestly, this is like the perfect place for a person who's not like too savvy with what they want to wear. They have everything that you need. You can find something, you know, for a date night, any time of the day. Yay, she's back! I'm back, guys! I am so sorry! So, <laughs> let's just Sandra, fix her up. Sandra had paired this dress with a great, gorgeous, uh, strappy nude pump, and I couldn't strap them in. <laughs> <laughs> I wore a little hot, so I think we got, maybe my feet sold up a little bit. Yeah, there and yeah. there's just, uh, definitely a lot of uh, you know moisture going. <laughs> so, <laughs> as you can see, this is a dress I picked out. This is a sheath dress, and I love that it has the color blocking on it, which sometimes can be you know a little flattering. And uh, Darlene loves to add a belt to anything. So if she wanted to after work, if she was going to go meet up with some girls or meet up for her bay, she can add a belt and some you know cute heels, and she'd be ready for a date night with no problems. And again, I had originally paired it with the blazer. If she's going to work, she can just add that blazer and have that perfect corporate look, you know, ready for the, for the office to take over. Yeah, I, you know, I love this dress, Sandra. Um, I love the color blocking. It makes it kind of easy, especially also if you're struggling a little bit with your body. I, what I love is like, I'm not wearing any Spanx or any kind of like shapewear, and I feel completely comfortable with it. Even though on a sheath dress, I probably would have worn normally some, but I feel good. Good. It's comfortable, it's easy to wear. I would have probably grabbed some cute accessories that they have back there, but in the interest of time. I think she looks amazing. Yeah, this is a good pick, Sandra. And you know, I threw on some booties um, because I couldn't get those cute, <laughs> <laughs> strappy set shoes on, um, which I think is fun as well. So yeah. hey, it's winter, we can get away with some booties still, so. Yeah, for like, right now it's 70 degrees, but whatever. <laughs> So um, the, her next outfit is going to be her out of her comfort zone outfit. So she's going to go off and wear that. This was my favorite, um, my favorite choice because Darlene, uh, while she does wear a lot, a lot of things um, that I wouldn't wear, she's a little more adventurous when it comes to that. So I wanted to pick something that I knew that she would absolutely not wear, and um, I picked out a skirt and a top for her. But the skirt is something that she would not wear. It's a denim. Um, A-line skirt. She normally doesn't like to wear those things because she feels that A-line um, silhouette doesn't really flatter her figure and also she just doesn't wear a lot of denim like skirts like that so I think that it would be a nice change for her to try it and say maybe I can convert her into wearing some kind of denim because honestly denim is like the best thing in the world. You can wear it with anything. So. Um, and then again, I paired it with a fun shirt, so she's not totally uncomfortable. It's actually a shirt that she might wear, but more so is the skirt is what we're, um, it's out of her comfort zone. So, how we doing over there, Darlene? Almost done. <laughs> she's almost done. And again, we have accessories here, like if this, you know, if you're feeling something that's kind of plain, you can just put on an accessories and change the whole look. She's I'm back! Here! Yay! <laughs> so this is what I chose. We have this gorgeous skirt that I, I this is totally, this is my, this is me. This is totally me. So this is Sandra in a box, right here. Yeah, totally. Right. We have stripes, we have <laughs> denim, so it's like I channeled myself into her outfit. Um, again, I think she looks amazing. She she feels that she's not really good in um, A lines, but I think it honestly looks super cute. And again, you can dress this down. You can dress it up. Like she has booties on, but you could actually put a pair of sneakers on with this and have a fun little casual weekend look. I like that idea. Yeah, and I think it looks super cute. And this um, strap, you know, since denim can sometimes be a little on the plain side, this top really just amps it up and makes it a little bit more, you know, special. So I think it's great. Yeah, I think it's, um, while it's something I would not normally pick, it's super cute. Um, I will say, if you're a hourglass shape or if you're full on the hips as I am, what I did, I went up, um, I actually went up a size so that it could fit through the hip and wasn't fitted too, too, like, too tight, mm -hmm. which is my issue with like A-line. Sandra's right. I don't think I own a denim <laughs> skirt. She really doesn't. I'm, <laughs> I'm really committed to converting her. I really am. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. While this look is super cute, I don't think it's coming <laughs> home with me. <laughs> but I will say, this top might. <laughs> that top? I'm, again, another thing that's going into my uh, you know closet right after this Facebook Live, because I love this top with this little bell sleeve. It just jazzes up a plain striped t-shirt. It's, it's just great. So guys, 
I really love this. Um, Sandra, thank you so much for picking out such a cute look. Uh, look one and look two were absolutely awesome. I'm actually growing into my look, so um, thanks for picking this one out. There you go. Good. <laughs> Good. Take it home so I can steal it from you today. <laughs> and what I will say, guys, is Gwenevy has so many different options. As you can see, they, we went from yeah. work, date night, fun everything. weekend. Everything. So there's something for everyone. Make sure to check them out. Make sure if you like these options to add them to your closet. Also, check us out on our blogs. I'm at suitsheelsandcurves.com. And I'm at lapecosapreciosa.com. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching.